gate 1998. So two union compatible releases are given to you. Okay, it is already given that these are union compatible. It is already given. What is the result of this query? What is the result of R1 join with R2 such that A is equal to C, B equal to D? See, very simple. R1 table is given to you. In this R1 table, A, B is given. In this R2 table, C, D is given. And they are union compatible. They are union compatible. When can I say they are union compatible? What it means? When can I say they are union compatible? Union compatible or you can call it type compatible. When can I say they are union compatible or type compatible? When this attribute has the same domain, they have same domain, domain same. They must have same domain. Name can be different, but they must have same domain. They must have same domain. Okay, the name can be different. In also here, they must have same domain. And number of attributes, and I can say arity of R1 should be same as arity of R2. Number of attributes in R1 should be same as arity of R2. This is the definition for union compatible definition. Okay, this is the union compatibility. Now tell me, now the question is saying that this should be equal to this. This A should be equal to C and B should be equal to D. So if you do this, what you are going to get? What you are going to get? If you do this, A should be equal to C and B should be equal to D. This is the condition that is given to you. So what you will get? First of all, will you get cross product? Tell me, will you get cross product? Never. Why? This cross product? No, because it will it will pair everyone with everyone. It will pair everyone with everyone. Okay, everyone will pair with everyone. So this is not what you are going to get. What you are going to get here very, very simple that Okay, between R1, R2, this this is equation or natural join. Tell me, is this equation or natural join? This is equation, right? Yes or no? This is actually equation because you are doing A equal to C and B equal to D. You are doing A equal to C and B equal to D. So this is actually equation. So if you look at this, this is actually equation. This is actually equation. Just tell me if you do this join. What will be the what will be the schema? What will be the schema? If you do this join, what will be the schema? Tell me the final schema. The final schema will be ABCD. Agree or not? The final schema will be ABCD. The final schema will be ABCD. Okay, so is any of them answer? See, this will have a schema AB. This will give you a schema AB. This will give you a schema AB. This will give you a schema AB. Okay. And actually, this will give you a schema ABCD. Actually, this will give you a schema ABCD. But this will pair everyone with everyone. But this will pair every everyone with everyone. Every tuple with every tuple. Every tuple of R with every tuple of S. With every tuple of S. So this is not correct. So this is also not correct. Okay, this will pair every tuple of R1 with every tuple of R2. So now tell me, can I say none of the none of them is answer? Can I say none of them is answer? Okay, tell me, is this like what I'm asking? Is this, are you getting this? This is EQ join. So the final schema will be ABCD. The final schema will be ABCD. So what is wrong here? In this question, what is wrong here? Did you understand what I'm saying? Actually, let me tell you, there are some authors. There are some authors. Okay, let me tell you, there are some authors. There are some authors. There are some authors. Okay, for example, Raghurama Krishna. Raghurama Krishna. Okay, there are some authors, Raghurama Krishna and some other authors. What these authors do? There are some authors. See what the definition of equation that we have seen. We have seen from which which author? Our equation definition. Our equation definition we have seen from which author? We have seen from Navate. Okay, we have seen from Navate. So we have seen this definition. Our definition we have taken from Navate. From this uh, also from Ulman. Okay, so our equation definition is taken from Navate also Ulman. 
but there are some authors okay there are some authors like raghurama krishna what they do in the equizoin they don't write the duplicate attributes okay what they do in equizoin in equizoin okay they don't write they don't write what tell me they don't write what they don't write duplicate attributes they don't write duplicate attributes they don't write duplicate attributes is this clear there are some authors as i told you okay as i told you there are some authors like raghurama krishna author is there so in equizoin they don't write duplicate attributes in equizoin it does not mean that a natural zone is same as equizoin can i say can i say can i say then equizoin is same as natural zone no because the equality condition can be something else yes or no because the equality condition can be something else are you getting my point okay are you getting my point for example maybe r maybe in this r you have a b okay in this s you have maybe a c now you can have this equation this is equation or not tell me this is equation or not this is equation or not yes this is equation right so this is equation you can clearly see this is equation now for this actually raghurama krishna's schema what will be what will be raghurama krishna schema if you follow raghurama krishna book okay then what will be the schema in this situation the schema will be what then it will be r dot a then b then s dot a then s dot a yes or no so it will be r dot a b s dot a nikhil are nikhil we are not having a equal to a we are not having a equal to a condition we don't have a equal to a condition so because this is equation not natural join this is equation not natural join is this clear this is equation not natural join but if you follow navate definition and there are many other authors navate and many more navate and many more if you follow then you will get then you will get a b a c okay then you will get a b a c then you will get a b a c but 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 this will be duplicate yes or no did you notice this actually will be duplicate this we have already seen so this actually will be duplicate this actually will be duplicate so anyway now you might be thinking so tell me without having this knowledge without having this knowledge without having this knowledge some authors can you solve this question do you need with this this knowledge for this question do we need to know what different authors are following for this question tell me a simple question i am asking if you study navate then can i say you cannot solve this question can i say you cannot solve this question you can still solve this question remember yes or no you can still solve this question because you know that two attributes will be duplicate yes or no so from the data point of view it does not matter agree from data point of view the result does not matter yes or no are you getting my point from the data point of view the the duplicate attributes do not matter you can remove the duplicate attributes from the data point of view or from the options you can find it yes or no from the options you can find it r1 cross r2 cross product cannot be the answer because in the cross product every tuple will pair with every tuple okay every tuple will pair with every tuple so cross product cannot be the answer so automatically what we know from the remaining options what we know tell me so from the remaining options what we know we know that duplicate attribute is removed yes or no tell me yes or no it means duplicate attributes are removed agree it means duplicate attributes are removed because you can notice because this this and this they will be actually duplicate this and this they will actually be duplicate and this and this they will be duplicate so from the data point of view you can remove the duplicate attributes is this clear to everyone please tell me anyone has any doubt in this what i am saying i am saying from the options you can check it from the options you can check it that basically it means that in this equizoin we are removing the duplicate attributes yes or no in this equizoin in this equizoin we are removing the duplicate attributes so now tell me the answer now okay now tell me the final answer so we have r 
in which you have a b in this s in which you have c d ultimately we are creating this relation a new relation we are creating a new relation we are creating such that such that this should be equal to this this should be equal to this okay so that this should be equal to this one and this should be equal to this one okay so what what actually i can say basically we are getting the common only the common things you will get yes or no actually what is happening here see actually what is happening so basically this should this should match with okay this should match with this yes or no this should match with this then you will write it here then you will write it here tell me tell me tell me will you write this let's assume here you have another here you have another and here you have let's assume this now tell me what will be your answer what will be your answer only this will be your final answer yes or no your final answer will be only this because remember a should be this complete thing should be equal to this complete thing agree or not this complete thing should be equal to this complete thing agree or not okay this complete thing should be equal to this complete thing a should be equal to c b should be equal to d so this complete thing this complete thing should be equal to this complete thing so finally i can say your this will be your answer so this is actually intersection so this is actually intersection you are taking okay so ultimately your answer will be option c because sorry option d because intersection you are taking so answer will be option d is this clear let me know anyone has any doubt in this any doubt in this so this is how you can do okay so this is a easy question very easy question you can take one instance and you can check in the gate exam you can take the instance and you can check right yes or no because a should be equal to c b should be equal to d both of them so this complete thing should be equal to this complete thing okay this complete row this complete row should be equal to this complete row okay so here actually you can take one point in the natural join if all attributes are same tell me if you have this natural join r and let's assume set of attributes set of attributes is a set of attributes is a and let's assume here set of attributes is also a so this is the set of attributes so if the set of attributes is exactly same if your set of attributes is exactly same in the same order if you have same set of attributes then your natural join will become what if you have same set of attribute then your natural join become what then will be, that will become intersection that will become intersection your natural join becomes intersection in this situation your natural join will become intersection yes or no because if all the attributes are same just think about it like okay very simple point i am saying that if your all the attributes are same like for example you have this type of situation let's assume a b c and here you have a b c now if you take their natural join now if you take their natural join if you take r natural join s if you take their natural join now if you take their natural join what will happen tell me what will happen then what will happen a should be equal to a so this common attribute must be same now you can notice these are the common attributes these are the common attributes this must be same as this so what should happen so this exit the whole tuple okay if this tuple is like this this tuple is like this and this tuple is like this okay and here let's assume this tuple is like this and uh, let's assume this tuple is like this and let's assume this tuple is like this then what will happen here so you can notice this will match with this this will match with this so finally you are getting the intersection yes or no so this will become same as the intersection is this clear let me know so this will become same as the intersection tell me is this clear is this result clear because the complete thing should be equal to the complete thing because abc should be equal to abc the complete tuple must be same as the complete tuple the complete tuple this complete tuple must be same as the complete tuple okay so this is the idea so you can notice natural join becomes intersection in this situation this is this result you can take a simple result so if you have same set of attributes in two relations then what should happen then what should happen the complete row should be match the complete row should match so this row should match with this row this row should match with this row so the complete row should match mm -hmm.